Welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks and it is spring semester 2013. From last time your assignment was to add your authorship information to every MXD in some workspace. So what we're going to do is import two Python modules. So we'll import the OS module, which will allow us to change directories in Python, and then the glob module, which will allow us to search for MXD files. So we'll change our directory to our current workspace, and then we'll create a list of MXDs in that current workspace. So I'll call this variable list MXDs. And then we'll use the glob module to look for any file that has an MXD extension. And then we could look what's inside this list of MXDs. So we do have all the MXDs that are in that folder. Okay, so now we have our list of MXDs. What we could do is we'll loop through each item in that list. And that will be some variable called mapdoc. And then we'll use the arcpy.mapping map document and get that map document object, and that object will become my MXD. And then one of the properties of an MXD map doc object is author, so we could set that property, and then we'll save that map doc object. Okay, so we've got this list of MXDs, and we could do a loop, so we could say for some variable in list MXDs. But what I typically like to do is test drive. So what we'll do is we'll just grab the second item in the list, so index 1, and then we'll set the authorship property for that test map doc. So the first thing we need to do is make it a map doc object. So right now it's simply a string. So we'll say my map doc, some variable name equals arcpy.mapping.map document, and then the MXD. So in this case, it's this variable. And then we can set the authorship properties of this object. So this is our map doc object, and then dot, and we should see author equals, and then we'll give it some authorship name. And then we basically save that map doc object and it will save it with the authorship information. Okay, so that will work in a loop. The only thing that it won't work is right now we have 3D MXD open. So if we try to do this using this 3D MXD, we'll get an error message because basically it's already open in ArcMap. So what we would have to do is we could run this as a standalone script just in Python, or we could run it in ArcMap with an unopened MapDoc object. Okay, so that's how you could programmatically assign authorship to any MXD in a current workspace or a current folder. Okay, in this video session, we're going to work with data frame objects. So in this case, we've got a 3D.MXD ArcMap document, and we've got an active data frame, and then we've got several other data frame objects. So the first thing we would do is make our map document object, and then if we want to access the active data frame, we could make some variable name. I'll call it active frame. So that's going to be equal to our map doc object dot active data frame. So now we've got this data frame object. So we could say, well, what is the name of that data frame object, for example? So it's monster locations. And that is indeed what the name of that data frame object is. Okay, we could change the name property of a data frame. So for example, here we change the name of that active data frame to a Unicode text, 3D points and tin frame. But if we look at it, it didn't change. And the reason why it didn't change is any time you make a change to the data frame, what you have to do is refresh your table of contents to see that change. 
So what we could do is arcpy dot refresh table of contents. So that will refresh our table of contents. And then we see the new name of our data frame. Okay, so we can extract any property of a data frame. So in this case, for example, we'll make this object frame chords and go to our data frame object and we'll get the spatial reference property. So then frame chords becomes a spatial reference object. So then we could make another variable, we'll call this string chords, is going to be equal to our frame chords dot and then we have all the properties associated with a spatial reference object. So we'll export to string and that will be stored in string chords. So now we could print out string chords. So here's all the properties as a string from that spatial reference object. Okay, so up to this point, we've worked with one data frame object, and we got that it was the active data frame. So basically, it was our map doc object dot active data frame. We can also get a list of all the data frames in a particular map document object. So that would be the arcpy dot mapping list data frames function. And list data frames requires the MXD. So now we've got this frames list. So we could say, let's loop through that frames list. So every data frame in frames list, and we'll print out this variable dot name. These are the data frames in our MXD object, and these are the name properties. And basically, here are the data frames and the name properties. Okay, so your assignment for our next video session will be write a small ArcPy mapping script that will make every data frame in some map document uppercase. So basically, in this example, we have mixed case data frames. What we want to do is change these so they're all uppercase. And I'll go over the solution to that problem at the beginning of our next video session.